whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before we dive into the glorious beauty of cherry blossoms, let's start from the beginning. Hi guys, it's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. I'm on my way to Kogane-e Park. Um, it's kind of difficult to say. I usually say Koganai, but that's totally incorrect. It's Kogane-e Park. It's been quite a mission to actually get to the park. It's taken me an hour and a half. I'll explain that more along the way. But right now, I just got dropped off by the bus, but I stumbled across this beautiful pathway filled with sakura trees and it's in full bloom and it's absolutely lovely. So I wanted to show you guys first. Is wrong today, nothing's working out, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. I'm in Japan and one of the most sought after times of year to be here. I have to raise my voice so you can hear me, but yes. Oh, what is this place? Is this called a Park? I don't think so, but it's awesome. I'm gonna find out. Is it a home? I'm not understanding. Okay, let me show you guys what I'm seeing because it's so pretty. Okay, so apparently this is Kogan. Koga. See, it's so difficult for me to say. Kogane E Park. I just didn't think it was because there's nobody here. And it said that it was pretty crowded today, so. But I think that's because we entered from the east entrance when I think all the sakura trees are on the west entrance. Okay, so the reason why it took me so long to get here today, I left at a, maybe around 1.20 in the afternoon today. And I was trying to get the motivation to come out today. I was feeling a little bit down for no particular reason. My life is great. There's no reason to feel down, but I was. I was feeling a little bit down. You know, I'm in control of my own destiny and the way I feel. So I forced myself to come out because hey, the sakura is blooming right now and there's no reason to be sad, right? So that's what I'm here doing. So anyways, I left the house. I have my blanket, all my gear, ready to shoot some stuff for you guys. And then I realized I left something plugged in. So I walked all the way to the bus station and back home to unplug something and come back. So I finally get on the bus and I arrived to the station. Google Maps did me wrong today. Mm -hmm. So I listened to Google Maps. I went to the south exit, looked for bus number 33. So one trip for travelers is if you do get lost and you do come across a police box called Koban, K-O-B-A-N, don't be afraid to ask them. They totally, uh, most of the time they totally want to help. And in my case, that's what I had to do today. So I went to the K-O-B-A-N, Koban, and asked the policeman for some help. So now I'm at North Exit and I finally find bus number 33. I'm waiting, I wait for about 15 minutes and ask Google Maps, I tried to ask Google Maps again, you know, hey, you know, when is bus 33 coming? So finally, Google Maps tells me, bus number 33 is gonna come in an hour and a half. <sighs> so now what do I do? I'm not waiting an hour and a half for bus number 33 to arrive. Um, I need to get to Koganei Park. If I say it more, it actually flows off my tongue better. Koganei, Koganei. The world was against me today, but I conquered it. Oh my god, this park has a dog park. I have not seen a dog park in Japan yet. I'm like so excited, I'm stuttering. Like one where like it's really free and open for like dogs of all sizes. And I kid you not, dogs of all sizes look behind me. I see chow chows. I see a golden retriever. I miss dogs so much. So I think this is a small size park with the chow chows in there. And then we got the big one. So these two dogs. There's like only two big dogs in here because there's not many big dogs in Japan or as far, like as far as Tokyo goes. And they have this whole big area to play in and I'm so happy for them. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, I've never seen a dog park of this size in Japan. That was super exciting for me. Well, I guess I'm gonna continue on the road less traveled for now. Never mind, I'm not gonna go down that way. I've made a U-turn because I saw something else that looks freaking awesome. This little piece of joy. 
Can I play, guys? I really wanted to go on the jumpy thing. Hey, so if you guys know what that thing is called, let me know down below so I don't continue to call it jumpy thing. But I really wanted to go on the jumpy thing. If you know where in Japan I can go on a jumpy thing and I will not be judged by my age, let me know where. I will go and I will jump. I will be free. By the way, can I just say parks in Japan are so legit, especially for children. Playgrounds are so awesome. You see, this is a giant slide. Watch him go down. It's so cool. Ready? Kids, go! Parks in Japan are... This is me! This is me! This is me! Okay, so I'm still on my way to where all the sakura trees are supposed to be. This park is massive, okay? This is the sad sign of sakura season being almost finished. Brown leaves and petals. <laughs> Like a really good spot where I can, you know, set up shop. Alright. So guys, this is Kogane Park. Um, you know, like I really recommend it as a sakura spot. Um, it said it was going to be pretty crowded today, but it's really not that crowded. Uh, you can easily find a nice uh, semi-quiet spot to sit down, relax. Um, have some snacks, enjoy with good company. Today all my friends are working, my boyfriend's working, but I'm good company, so I'm okay. If you guys like these vlogs or you want to see more vlogs like this, then you know, just leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. If you like this particular vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more stuff like this in the future. I'm pretty tired, I'm gonna relax a little bit, maybe shoot a couple more videos, I don't know. Um, but yeah, until next time, bye! And happy Hanami! Warm, warm feelings inside. Gives me warm feelings inside. Google was wrong on all the counts. Thanks, Google. You're not a sponsor of this video. <laughs> you really messed me up today. And I am a strong advocate for Google Maps. So, what the heck, man?